ini ala zikrik. Oh Allah, help me to remember you. Number one, without Allah helping you, it's out of the question. You're lost. You're a loser. You cannot even take a breath. You cannot inhale without Allah allowing you to do it. This is something. Who's playing with the volume? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so now I have to speak softly. Okay. So you have to always remember that without Allah's help, you cannot do anything. This is why what is one of the treasures of Jannah? La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no power, no strength except with Allah. It's one of the treasures of Jannah if you say it. There is a palm tree that will be planted for you every time you do this. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. You're queuing. You're in a traffic jam. You're in a problem. Always say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And things would inshallah be facilitated for you and that is what the prophet used to teach his companions alayhi salatu was salam idha sa'alt fas'alillah when you ask ask allah wa idha sta'ant fasta'in billah and when you seek help seek it from allah this is what we say iyyaka na'bud wa iyyaka nasta'in oh you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help and this is what the Prophet used to alayhi salatu was salam begin his speeches by. Inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu huh? wa nasta'inuhu. We praise him and we seek his help. But we don't contemplate on these words. We just say them. And most of us, they rely and depend on the size of their biceps. Not on their Allah's helping. When you want to carry something heavy, deadlift, what do you say? Bismillah? Come on, you can do it. I can do it without Allah's help. I didn't do it. Attribute everything you do and every success you go through to Allah Azza wa Jal. Declaring that I have no power, no might, no strength without Allah. And this is when Allah Azza wa Jal supports you beyond your imagination. If Allah Azza wa Jal helps you, you will always be among those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning and in the evening. Who amongst us observes the adhkar in the morning and the evening? They usually take between 15 to 30 minutes to accomplish. Who sits in the congregation saying, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, a number of times, La ilaha illallah, wahdu la sharika lah, a hundred times. Who says, Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik, Allahumma insakul al-afu wa al-afiyah fi dunya wa al-akhirah, Allahumma insakul al-afu wa al-afiyah fi dini wa dunya wa ahli wa mali. Who says, Sayyidul Istighfar, who says, A'udhu bi kalimati al-tamat bin sharim. A long list of adhkar. If Allah helps you, you can do that. You can remember him. And when you remember him, you can do that before you go to bed. Everyone goes to bed, switch off, then switch on, nine to five. And in this vicious circle, they go to bed, they forget to say the adhkar at night. I know people that would never ever skip the adhkar of night. And they would recite Surah Al-Mulk, 30 verses. They would recite the whole things they have to say, because this is your antivirus everyone has on his computer antivirus or on his mobile but you need antivirus so you'll be protected from evil eye from envy from black magic and from jinn possession i could care less if a sorcerer come now and he says listen i have like 20 jinn under my control so my <laughs> enchanté in french i know you guys speak french so, so who cares Aren't you afraid? No. I'm not afraid. I have Allah Azza wa Jal with me. I do my adhkar in the morning, in the evening, before I go to bed, after Fard Salah, before I leave my home. I could care less. Do this. Everybody comes in. What's your dalil? And I say, okay, do you know Arabic? He said, no. 
Do you know the Quran? I said, no. Why are you asking me for Dalil? 